you have taken over this role in the middle of an international crisis of magnitude that nobody can predict. How are you going to do this? Angelinos rightfully expect that we take care of business, right? Again, that, that the, the trees are getting trimmed, that the trash is getting picked up, that, that potholes are being fixed. And we will do that, and I'm fully committed to that, and Kevin was, was uh, exemplary in making sure those things happen. You mentioned Kevin James. He was in the role for seven years. He's seen a lot of changes. He's incorporated a lot of strategies. You know, is it been a good handoff? Did he hand the baton well, and what does he tell you? The transition's been fantastic. Uh, Kevin created enormous shoes to fill. He was a great president of the Board of Public Works. Uh, the mayor, me, every Angelino should be very grateful for the, the service he provided. I believe in over-communication. Uh, Kevin James believes in the same, and I will rely heavily on him, and hopefully he'll rely on me with his new work, too. How do you envision things? How do you want it to see? You just said you want an equitable city that is, you know, obviously sustainable and has, um, you know, a forward-thinking approach. How do you see it? So much of what Public Works does if it happens and, and is executed well, uh, should fly under the radar screen. Ideally, we don't need to be thinking about the trash getting picked up. We don't need to be thinking about whether the street light is a high voltage light that needs to be converted to an LED light. Um, ideally, we don't have to know those things and they just happen the way they should. So that's the city that I hope the Department of Public Works will continue to uh, contribute to. And lots and lots of trees. And lots and lots <laughs> of trees. Very excited about that. And trees in places where Heretofore, there has been very limited canopy. Um, yeah. There's a real, you know, imbalance in terms of where you have dense tree canopy. Um, and trees are superheroes, you know. They, 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 they create shade, they keep places cool, and they capture carbon. And so, you know, frontline communities um, that have been, you know, victims of environmental injustice over the years need to have as many trees as, as other communities. And so, yes, we'll go work on that too. So it'd be good for people to, you know, to hear about things that are happening in their own community. Absolutely. You know, we're an open door. And, and certainly on the on that sort of the, those basic things that happen to us every day, including reporting potholes, et cetera, et cetera, go to mile A311 and we are on it.